so there's the outfit. There's my shoes. And coming up. It's like one of those like kind of wide open dresses. It's got the scrunching at the top. It's got a necklace attached to it. It's like a tie, like a halter top tie. And oh look, I've been meaning to tell you guys about that. Look, that's my new iPhone case. I Instagrammed. I got stickers from my Instagram and stuck them to my phone and then put a clear case on. And look, these are the earrings. They're like the exact same color orange. And I went really nude with my face. So this is, I'm going to a Weight Watchers conference. And I'm going to be telling them, like I'll drop that and go up. I'm going to be telling them, like, I have to do a speech on my story, my journey, or whatever. So, look at my little hair, it's growing back. Even though I dyed them, they're still growing. Yay! Okay, so, it's Sunday, and I, I don't even know. I showed you my outfit. I'm going to give a speech at Wheat Watchers, at a Wheat Watchers, like, mini conference. It's called Celebrations, and around, I'm just going to leave that open. Around here, what they do is they, like, they celebrate, like, the meetings that have had the best success and all that kind of stuff and um I'm going and I'm giving my little mini speech it's like a three minute speech thing is I'm not really good at timing speeches because part of the time I'm like you know okay it should be a three minute speech if I remember everything about it and at the same time I'm not really good at like pre-planning what I'm gonna say so I'm better at like, kind of ad-libbing which could make it go over and I get nervous talking in front of people, so I talk really fast, which is going to make it go under. It's just weird. Um, I do have a pair of pants. I'll show it to them to you that I'm bringing. And they have a before and after picture of me. I think I might have told you guys that. So I'm going to stand up. And, you know, I say all the time I want to be a motivational speaker. And I'm just trying to look at this as like, okay, this is a safe place. Everybody there has gone through the journey in one way or another it doesn't matter what any of them think of me I'm like okay wait a second you will run with 25,000 people and sing and dance the entire time you're doing it you always say no shame um, you take a fucking hula hoop to the park you know it's like the things I'll do and then talking in front of people freaks me out and I want to be a motivational speaker so I'm thinking okay you know what I need to get the fuck over it how am I going to do that I'm going to go and I'm going to embrace this. This is a stepping stone to the path that I want to take. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to do my best. And it doesn't matter really if these people wind up not liking me because it doesn't change my story or my journey and whatever. And it doesn't matter if they think it's silly or stupid what I say because it's what I'm saying and it's me and it's my journey. So really there's no wrong way to go about it. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind and stay calm. Yeah, that's the focus. That's the, the thing about it. So I'm driving out there and I'm really pretty excited. And um, I'm kind of interested to see how exactly it's going to be catered. Because, I don't know. It's at, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping to have some information to give you guys when I come back. Like, that should be interesting. I don't know what I'm going to learn, if anything. And also... I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's like, it's interesting. I'm a little disappointed because my leader that, that I know is not going. Um, I'm hoping that a couple of my friends and people I know are going. I doubt that the, a lot of them have this attitude. They get, they make comments all the time about how little we get paid. And it's like, you know what? I really, I make like $30 a paycheck. It's really not about money. It's about being a part of it and all that. So... What I'm thinking is that I will give you guys my speech afterwards. Maybe I should do it now. I don't know. I could. I could. I could. I could do it. Um, no, I'll do it afterwards if I do it. I will see. I just. I don't want to like overthink it. I'm trying not to. Eek. <laughs> I don't know. It's stupid that it bothers me. That's what I do now. I think I'm gonna take some uh, some serious. I thought I was gonna take Xanax, but then I was afraid I would forget my speech. So 
We're just going to go with it. Drinking coffee and going with it. That's, that's today. That's life. Going with it. Just doing it. I say that all the time, too. I'm always like, people want to know how to break a plateau. A plateau. Do it. How to get started. Do it. How to get over things. Just do it, you know? And so I just need to live by that. And you, I find that... I don't want to say I only do that when it's comfortable. Because by no means was changing my lifestyle comfortable. By no means is running faster, longer, and harder comfortable. But... There are, like, I think I've, I've kind of fulfilled this area of it and I need to then look at my boundaries and, you know, find new ones and push them. So this is a part of that. Here's to growing, right? Can you see this? I am running so late and I'm so tired. And this is my first thing in the morning. No coffee. Look, everything's a mess. A crazy, crazy mess. Anyway, going to make some coffee. And get the day going. Some five or one cereal. I'm about to make some pasta salad so it'll be ready when Amber comes home. And I'm watching reruns of Coffee. Top what? It's gonna it's gonna come out down there. Bada bing. And we're gonna make some coffee. At night I've been drinking um Sleepy time herbal tea. It's nice. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Grilled chicken breast and broiled asparagus for lunch. We have salted caramel truffle, tomato asparagus pasta salad, so delicious. Two egg whites, ham, and onion sauteed, and a little bit of fat-free craft American cheese omelet.